back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. There will be very painful moments in your life that will change your entire world in a matter of minutes. These moments will change you. Let them make you stronger, smarter, and kinder. But don't you go and become someone that you are not. Cry, scream if you have to. Then you can straighten out your crown and move on. Walk on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Heavenly, oh, hold on. I don't mean for prayer. Father God, you are faithful. Nothing is impossible for you because all authority is yours. Thank you for giving me access to this authority through your Holy Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to draw near to you. Please show me how to walk with your boldness through life. As I seek you, guide me and teach me how to confidently disciple others. In Jesus' name, Amen. After a prayer like that, you can't start the news and tell no lie. So I can tell you something. People, we do them. We do them, people. At the rate of all the three card man move, there is nobody to stop him. You understand? It seems like say, the man have about six the card sit on pan and just wheel them out and wheel them out and just wheel them out. So, People, we do me and I mean, I want oh, you, yeah, keep your hand on your mouth. You understand? Nobody come tell me nothing about clown did. You know, see, clown didn't have a party where I wash up and didn't care if I control it. How that them and they want to control country where can't control three little man at the party where I get trouble? Oi, we do. We do, people. You understand? Sad to say, but we are doomed. You see, come next year when the GCT and them things they go up, yeah, man, cause and next year, you know, man. Next year when everything go up again, you know, man. Me tell you, hey, can't say me never had a word, you know. But, you can't help yourself. Help me for help, you know. You know, you know, you can't do that. Ta-da! Look at the screen right now. Couple boys there, yeah. When we know say couple man I look for, you understand? And instead, of, we make them go sit down behind bars and yam with tax dollars. Just tell me which part of them there, so the man them will link me for, say, find them, we can't tell them which part for find them for them go push back them brain. Anyway, we can start right to so. Remember good now, don't tell crime stop, tell me, Leon Pulkin wanted for shooting with intent in frequent Hartford and Paul Island district in West Milan. This a boy supposed to go 6 foot 6 right now. Then cup on this a wrap up on the screen now people, me no say no know him. Anybody see him, me a beg no. Write in the comment section. Miguel Eesbar Tracy, Wanted for murder. Then go pan this boy. Yeah. Could he even talk good? You understand the teacher? You say what your name? My name is. He said kiki kiki fiala. How oh, before him could I say Kieran Douglas? Yeah man, as Tama we call him. Wanted for shooting with intent. You can't have a chat with a head on bad man. No sir. Ah slap him for get slap with a hey, sap right away. Well are no people. Iggy McKillis people. Iggy McKillis, look for Iggy people. Jason Teflon Duncan, who wanted for shooting with intent. Me say, the boy look just like one could be a big one of people. Me I tell you the truth. Anybody know them boy, and me I tell you right now. If you know all right, the comment section. Just tell somebody if you tell me. Yeah. I'm a matter of fact, I can make it easier for you. Tell a neighbor if you tell me, because I remember say I live next door to your neighbor. So just tell a neighbor, say if you give me a message. You understand? Now nah, I'm going to see how you come from. But anyway, now people, what you want, what you want. I'm going to go to some more news. A St. James man will allegedly attempt to punch a woman during a heated argument but mistakenly struck her four-month-old baby will be subject to a trial as they attempt to resolve the issue through mediation has failed. But we'll land it. It should be very tried. That's all. You understand? I like think she shall the man around the road. But them find off him head. But you know that girl ain't on a sense in the paper. The defendant, Mario Dunbar, is charged with assault occasional body harm. He appeared in St. James Parish Court on Wednesday before presiding judge Sasha Marie Smith Ashley. According to the allegation on April 4th, the complainant was traveling in a taxi driven by the accused. Upon reaching Market Street, an argument developed between them. The accused man then pulled over and attempted to throw the complainant out of the car. He then swung his fist at the complainant, 
but it missed and struck the complainant baby instead, causing pain and swelling and one only pa balling. And you really are telling me, say, you're going to tell the police them? For your GoPro, you're going to tell two men? For the man they fix him business? Anyway, we can move on. A British citizen and her husband have been charged after she was caught allegedly attempting to smoke cocaine through the Sanctus International Airport in Montgomery, St. James on May 10. The police say 46 year old Karen Anderson, a manager of London, England, was in the process of boarding a flight destined to England at about 6 40 pm when one kilogram of cocaine was found inside the luggage during routine checks. She was subsequently taken to custody, and the police say further investigation revealed that 40 year old Lee had told me that a farmer from Manchester was her accomplice in the crime. She just going there and starts spilling her Mr. Watcher, the man, but not going down alone. He was also arrested. The two has been charged with possession of cocaine, dealing in cocaine, attempting to export cocaine, and conspiracy to export cocaine. The police say illicit drugs has an estimated street value of $7.72 million. Yes, people. The British don't really have much sense still, you know. Because from the other day, every single day I come about here. You can't see me telling us that I'm find the British at the airport with coke. I want to steal a try to smuggle more. Anyway. More news. Mr. From yesterday, I just beer ball in around my yard. Way. The people them just have ball, 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 ball. So for Miss Lillian, them all I wonder if I can go touch a curtain. You no wonder me I talk about, don't it? Let me tell you, man. An elderly woman perished in a house fire yesterday in St. Anne's. She has been identified as 70 year old Lillian Gray, a farm of the area. Police report that residents saw a fire coming from a room and alert them and the fire department. On their arrival, a cooling down operation was conducted and the burnt out body of Gray was found face down inside her room. The cause of the fire is not being ascertained, but the people them attack and say, yo, them not really think a thief in light and short circuit on the panel box. And more of the can't touch a curtain, you understand? And burn down the whole place. That's how the people them say. Hold on a bit then now, people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is alleged, it is alleged that the delegate system was tampered with. Yes. It is alleged that the delegates that Mr. James had, they were taken off the list and new delegates was placed on the list. Mr. James, the, the new process that, that they, they um, brought in, in play now, Mr. James won all three, right? And um, what they, they found out that they couldn't, they couldn't get rid of Mr. James that way because the integrity and all of that, he passed all of them, right? So what they did now, they corrupted the delegate system and they stall and stall and stall and stall and stall until they get the, the, the list how they wanted it. And then now they are saying it must go to a delegate vote. We are not having that. Garfield James is a man of class, a man of dignity, a man with integrity, honesty. He's a people's choice. I am going to, I am going to, with all these comments, and all the leader in the People's National Party, in every division, is going to work against Ian Hayes. And I'm making that clear. If Mr. James does not get the member of parliament candidate for Western Westmoreland, I pledge allegiance. All the comrades here, we're going to cross the floor and we will wave the green banner high here. We are going to turn it in all green. Western Westmoreland people, we are the people of Western Westmoreland. No, Mr. James, no good. And let me tell you this, all the comrades here, if Ian Hills ever win this thing, our deputy will further let him. All the comrades here, we're going to walk across the floor and pledge allegiance. We're going to wear the green banner high. Mark Golden. Yes. Liam Campbell. Yes. Peter Bunting. Yes. Ian Hills. And Angela Bunbell. Who the fuck is about and who are going to come from? I don't have to go. You have to go. You have to go. We are going to march up West and Westmoreland and the People's National Party. Yes. Send them. Give me James. Without James, you don't have no Westmoreland. Without Westmoreland, we cannot farm a government. I am reminding them. Mr. Westmoreland, 
No, he is. Go back to another. We want James. James is the people's choice. He has mash up Western and over. And so mash up Western West Mall and then become MP. So we know want him and this is a message to Mark Gordon. To the General Secretary Dean Campbell. We do not want yes. If yes come here, West Coast, West Coast, we remain good. I am giving them one. That is my message. Them come out and them numbers and them on straight. But make two people on the road dead. You not see them come out, come say a word. A matter of fact, two dead. Four persons were shot, two fatal at a gaming outlet in Bogue St. James Wednesday night. The deceased has been identified as 30-year-old businessman Jeremy Miller of Bogue Village and a man only known as Tallman. Yes, people. Talman and Jeremy and dead. You understand? The other two persons were treated at hospital and released. It's reported at about 9.45 p.m. Residents were at the establishment and gunmen came up and opened fire. Four persons were hit. They were taken to the Cornell Regional Hospital with two go for ice and two go for treatment. And them two go for treatment, them gone back at them yard. You understand? St. James is one of the three parishes where a state of public emergency was imposed on Monday by the government to help quell the rise in murder. Yes, people. One only for murder and shooting and going to the parish from the other day. You understand? When the incident was the most recent double murder recorded in the parish. Hold on, they know, people. Someone still has to forget criminal a chance. Sunday, May 7. One lady named Claudia did that. Remember me and they talk about that? If you don't go so now, boom, and go over my IG. Who over there already? I'll come in on one of the group and see the video of that incident there. Who don't come, come tell me right now, say. Give them a chance. Carry them behind bars. Go lock them up and them eat taxpayers' money. And live scratch free. Me want somebody. Tell me, say, them de boy there. We kill that woman and we just say, we are baby there. And I beg for your life. People want to go see to the self, you know, you understand? Anyway, I soon come back.